week, we saw the government inviting a notorious war criminal to this country. This person had an arrest warrant out against her after the crimes that were committed against the Palestinian people in Gaza in 2008-2009. And even though the government changed the law under pressure from the Israeli government on war criminals, she still had to get special mission status from the government to protect her from having an arrest warrant. And I want to give notice to all of those who are responsible for the massacre of Palestinians, whether it's in Gaza or, any, or anywhere else, that I want to put those war criminals on notice that they will be brought to justice, that there is no hiding place, and that we will continue our struggle for peace and justice and for liberation of the Palestinian people. Israel committed that massacre in Gaza because Israel thought they could get away with it. Israel is used to violating international law. But what Israel has not factored in is the millions and millions of people around the world that are standing up and saying enough, no more, no more occupation, no more death. No more destruction. We want the refugees to be able to return home. And what we're seeing is this massive movement that believes in peace, that believes in justice, that believes in equality. And this movement is going to make a difference and you can all get involved. Firstly, boycott, divestment and sanctions. You can all say you, you will not buy into Israel's occupation. You can all refuse to buy Israeli goods. You can go, before you go home, sign the petition against Veolia, which is a company that's complicit in Israel's crimes, over there on the Palestine Solidarity Campaign Store. So play your part in the movement. And the last thing I want to do before I go is to encourage you to join the Palestine Solidarity Campaign. Because what we're seeing on Palestine, as we've seen on all of the struggles for liberation, is that together, acting together and acting united, we can make changes. We can act in solidarity with the Palestinians and we will see a free Palestine.